Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. What's happening? Okay, so I've got the the sides cut, the fronts cut. Now it's time to basically put the drawers together. And before I can, I need to put the back on. All right. And what I like about using pine is that you can mash this in there really, really. You can jam it in there. So, and it's pretty good. You see how I just cut the um, I cut the the pins. And then I transferred onto the tails and I just mush it in there. You know? It's kind of sweet. You know, I don't get to really smash things together too much. So when I get a chance to, I kind of really enjoy it. So what I do is that I just kind of eyeball these things. I just mock them wherever. I like to leave them a little heavy because I know I have to plane this a little. So I'll leave these a little heavy. And I'll just, you know, this is tiny. You don't really need to put one in the middle, but I decided to. So you just basically transfer this mock onto here, you know, like I do with all dovetails, and you just, you know, this is a little excessive, I don't even need to, to, to put this line on there, because they're so small, but I will just to show you guys what's happening here. So you just mock it, and then you transfer the lines, okay? See? See what I'm saying? These are the mocks from the back piece. And I had to cut this little piece off. This is where the rabbit goes. The, I mean, the rabbit. This is where the bottom goes into this little tiny dado. So, I cut it with the marking gauge and I cut this part off. I marked it. And now all I have to do is cut them out with the uh, saw. Just leave the line. That, that's all you gotta worry about with this stuff. And you know what's great? If I run past the, the marking gauge line on the backs a little bit, I don't really care. So I get to really kind of expeditiously remove the material, Mr. Powers. Oops. That's it. You see? I just leave the marks on there. Can you see that? All right. Leave the marks on. Leave the marks on here. I basically just have to clamp this down and remove the material. You know? I mean, it's probably going to take me all of three minutes. Maybe I'll just do it. So it's Fourth of July, guys. What's going on? Things are starting to happen down here, you know? Things are starting to work, finally. I'm getting a little bit of work done. It just takes a long time, you know? I mean, there are eight of these little drawers, so it just takes some time to get this stuff going. But I'm starting to feel good, because I know that I will have these drawers together, like, really fast. In a couple of days, these things will be done. You know, when I say a couple of days, I mean by like Sunday. So I'm just taking the material. You don't want to smash through here, remember? Because, you know, the, the front is the other side. And this stuff is really, really soft. Like I was just saying, that's why I kind of dig it. Oops. Drop my little. Sorry. There you go. Click down. I mean, can you guys even see this? Well, you kind of get the idea, you know? And I'm telling you, I like to be really... Uh, I like to not have to worry about this part so much. Huh? See that? If all dovetails were that easy, I would be flying. But they're not, so it takes a little bit of time. But that's cool, you know? And I really like doing the back. Look, they just pop right up. I don't have to worry about the line too much, you know, I probably should, but, you know, when I look at originals, these things, will they look like <laughs> I chewed them out with my teeth from the first podcast, <laughs> you know, that's what they look like, but obviously, they're not, okay, so that took like all of two or three minutes, That's what I love about the back of these things, boy. Sweet, right? I mean, how simple is that? You know what I mean? And then from here. So 
since I have this stuff properly marked, you know, I know which way it's going to go. Here we go. People walk by here all day long. It's kind of hard for me to keep focus because focus, focus. Sometimes I'll be sitting here and people just keep walking by, and that's cool. I just sometimes I sit here and just daydream out the window. It's hard to do. I lose concentration sometimes. I need a mental break. But I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to devote enough time to this thing to where I'm, I'm really conscious of what the hell is going on. So there's my draw. And I see David, and I see Trey, and I see Mel. <laughs> hey, what was the name? Romper Room. That's the name, right? right? Romper Room. That was a really funny show. Man, I'm an old buzzard. Think about Romper Room. Hey, I'd rather watch Romper Room than... What were those things with the thing on their heads? They were dressed up. Dolls. I forget the name of those stupid things. <laughs> I mean, how to dress up as those things up. <laughs> that would be a funny podcast, too. Alright, so here's the draw. <clears throat> and before I can glue it together, I need to make a rabbit in the back of this to... to well, I always say rabbit, but it's just a data or a groove, you know? A rabbit's only a single-sided groove, to be honest with you. I get the terminology messed up all the time. Sorry. You guys can write and correct me. Whatever. So, before I can glue this thing together, I want to make a groove in the back of the drawer front. And before I do that, I kind of want to get it closer to the shape. So, I have to go along all eight of those drawer fronts over there. Where are they? This the, where's the project? Right there. So, I, I just have to clean up all these drawers, okay? <clears throat> and then I'll start gluing them together and slide the bottom in. And then a big section of this thing will be finished. And that will be pretty, pretty psyched. Because after this, I just have to put the shapes on the, the pigeonhole dividers and make the little tiny balances. And then I will feel really good. I think by the end of this week, possibly the middle of next, because it's 4th of July this week, that I will have everything except that uh, inside box completed. So I'm feeling pretty good. Dice K, baby. Hopefully we're going to go to the World Series this year. Go Sox!